Tommy, obviously um, there's some momentum to take from the second half definitely on Monday, isn't it? A nice little comeback draw. So how's that, you know, driven into training today? Well, like you said, it was a positive way to end the game. I think um, you know, only a few days earlier we we had a similar result in terms of a draw, mm -hmm. but it went around the other way. We went ahead in that game and then, then gave back the lead, if you like, against Yeovil. So it didn't feel the same. But I think when you're two goals behind and on two separate occasions and to, to see the reaction of the players on both on both occasions, it's really, really important. And for me to see that, you know, at least I know then they can react to what we said at half time, which is done twice. What we've got to do is we've got to get out the blocks better than we have done in the last two games. So, you know, I think there's, like I mentioned it when I walked in the door, there has been a nervousness around the group. But I think as they get to know me a little bit more, um, and my message won't change, it'll be very, very clear. So, you know, I'm expecting a better start in the next game. Well, about looking ahead to that game, it's, it's against Scunthorpe, who mm. you know have already had their fate sealed this season. So is, is that that's obviously quite a good opportunity for us, and on paper, isn't it? Well, it's never played on paper, as you know. Um, but I would say on the flip side of that, the, the pressure's off uh, for Scunthorpe now. You know, like you said, they, unfortunately for them, they, they're going to lose their, their status in the National League. But the players, I'm sure, will be fighting for their lives in terms of their, their contracts in the futures. Um, so I don't expect an easy game. I've come up against Jimmy a, a couple of times already this season when he was manager at Peterborough Sports. So <clears throat> I know Jimmy and I know Michael Nelson really well. Um, so I don't expect an easy game at all. At the end of the day, when you're in a situation they're in, you'll want to take anybody with you. So, you know, we, we're the nearest to the, to the bottom of the league other than the ones in the relegation zone at this moment in time. So they'll be wanting to, to drag us into it, which, uh, but well, obviously our incentive is, is the opposite. We need to, to make sure we stay above that dotted line. Exactly, it's a very important game, isn't it, on Saturday. So hopefully we'll have the backing of the fans as well, won't we? I'm sure we will. I mean, I thought they were excellent on Good Friday uh, against the Yeovil, and, but the travelling shots that came down uh, the M3 to Eastley on, on Bank Holiday Monday were excellent. I mean, it would have been very easy for, for people to leave in the numbers when you go 3-1 down away from home to fairly local rivals. The weather was sheeting down with rain so you know everything was was not great at half time but I'm, I'm really thankful to the people that stayed which was 99.9% .9 of them and they they give the lads a really good you know a rapturous applause after the game I think it's reward for for honesty and effort and, and I think the, the bit of quality that we showed in the second half should show the players you know we we're playing against a team who were sitting in sixth place when we when we turned up at the Silver Lake so you know if that's that's a side there are pushing to be in the playoffs and we've gone there and at the end of it I think what we finished on the front foot and looked the stronger side to finish so um, yeah we've got to take hard from that and whilst I want to put you know wins in the column it's important that we stay unbeaten if we can um, but yeah you know we've got to look onwards and upwards together. That bank holiday schedule was obviously you know very intense and yeah. tough but do you think now the players are kind of getting a feel of, of you know the way that you expect things to be now? Well like I said the message I've given them in in house has been the same since I walked in the door, and that won't change too much. Um, I'm very clear and concise with certain things that I just I just see as non negotiables. You know, um, like effort, and work rate, you know, ability and mistakes have varying you know quantifiability in terms of you know what I see as good or bad or indifferent or different to the next man. So. What I do know is that every player in the side will know what his job is and he'll know what his, his mate's jobs are. So from that point of view, I expect more accountability as individuals and therefore as groups and therefore as the side. So as we, as we go forward together, I think I'd like to be able to, to eventually put a team out that, that shows the exact way that I want to play the game. At the moment, we're seeing it in the fits and starts. And thankfully, the fits are, are the good bits and the starts are not, not quite as good as we want them to be. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.